Hello everyone and welcome to this month's episode of Jig Retro. This month we'll be looking at how you can get into this wonderful hobby of collecting and appreciating retro video games. I'll be recommending some of the best consoles and a few of the best games to go along with it. If you enjoy this content then please like, share and subscribe to get the latest monthly episodes as they are released. The consoles that I'll be mentioning in this video should tick all of the boxes. They will be cheap, easily attainable, have an amazing and varied library and be backward compatible and somewhat space saving. This can indeed be a room devouring hobby if you let it. So in this video I won't be mentioning rarer consoles. I feel that if you are looking to buy or own a Game Gear or an Atari, maybe a Dreamcast or a Saturn, then you won't need me to tell you otherwise and have obviously already built a huge nostalgia for that console. This video is more geared towards gaming enthusiasts who want to start a small nostalgic video game collection of their own. Obviously I love pretty much all old video game consoles and have absolutely no bias. These are just the consoles that I recommend in the very early stages of your retro gaming collecting journey and offer the most bang for your buck. Before my retrospective gaming and collecting hobby started I would generally have the most successful console from each generation waiting for the first price drop to sell everything that I had previously to get the latest and greatest. And I was fine with that until the PS4. As I've mentioned a lot of times on this channel, I was so disappointed with the long install times, the lack of sofa multiplayer, and only being able to fit a few of these humongous games on the system itself. The small old TV that I had at the time had no way of showing what the PS4 was really capable of in comparison to my Xbox 360 and I quickly became hugely disappointed. This led me into gaming retrospectively in a huge way, but nowadays, thanks to the massive boom in the indie scene, my faith has fully been restored in the PS4. The first console I picked up during this time was the Game Boy Advance SP, and I would definitely recommend it as a great console to own and collect for. It's relatively cheap for the common basic model, which has a more than functional front lit screen, which was a first for Nintendo handhelds. Although if you're thinking of collecting and playing this console more seriously, then I have to recommend picking up a modded one with a fantastic modern backlit screen. This console is completely backwards compatible to the whole Game Boy library, including the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and obviously the Game Boy Advance. Also, you may not be aware, but the console is region free. Therefore, if a rarer, expensive game is cheaper elsewhere, then you can import it. Even on the original, unmodded Game Boy Advance SP, the front lit screen is a huge step up from the previous systems. Some basic palette changes to the original black and white Game Boy games can be made with a simple button combination at the startup screen. This console is the first rechargeable Game Boy, so you will never be caught out without batteries. Collecting for this amazing system takes up very little room. I pretty much keep my entire collection in a small Tupperware container. Rummaging through cartridges is a wonderful sound from my childhood. On top of all that, there are also a classic range of NES and SNES titles that were released for the Game Boy Advance, opening you up to collecting a few classic games from these other super popular systems. With it actually being a 32-bit system, the Game Boy Advance library has some of the best 2D games available.
The next console I'd like to recommend is the Sony PlayStation 2 Slim. This is a fantastic budget-friendly console to pick up and collect for. It again is completely backwards compatible to the original PlayStation 1 and represents by far the two most successful consoles of their respective generations. Both of these consoles have fantastic and varied libraries covering all genres. PlayStation 2 has many Dreamcast conversions representing some of the best of that system. There are some great retro collections representing arcade games, Atari, Sega among many others. On the whole the games of this generation were produced in such large numbers that most of the best games are still really cheap to pick up, especially the PS2 games. Don't forget it's almost a pretty decent DVD player, regardless of whether you want to collect video games for it or not. I would recommend spending a little more to upgrade the component cable to a decent SCART cable if your telly allows. And don't forget that on the whole these games will look better in a 4.3 aspect ratio. Although many PS2 games had a widescreen option in their options menu. So utilise this to avoid an odd and distorted image on modern tellies. The last console that I would recommend as kind of an alternative would be the Raspberry Pi, preloaded with retro Pi and buttloads of ROMs. Obviously only ROMs that you already have a physical copy of. This can be a pretty hefty laydown of cash initially, but this little microcomputer wonder can emulate everything from Atari to Sega Mega Drive to Game Boy, all the way up to PlayStation, N64 and even Dreamcast doing so to a very high standard. The pros are that if you do get one that's heavily preloaded, you pretty much have access to the whole of video game in history on one small little package. Obviously that means it takes up very little room and it has a HDMI output, which means that it can be connected to modern TVs and game capture devices really easily. And to be honest, let's face it, the games look fab. The cons for me would be the price. The USB controllers that tend to come with these systems can be pretty janky. And gaming like this is a moral and legal grey area. A bit like the early days of Napster and music sharing. I currently use a Raspberry Pi to run my arcade machine. Honourable mentions for consoles to collect for would be the Nintendo Wii. The most common model of this console is backwards compatible to the Nintendo GameCube. And it tends to be really cheap because most households had one of these back in the day even your granny. If the frankly epic virtual console shop was still accessible through the Nintendo Wii then it would be hard not to recommend it over the PS2. With that said, the game library has plenty of shovelware to avoid. Another mention would be to the Nintendo DS. Both standard and light models are backwards compatible to the Game Boy Advance and it has a lovely backlit screen similar to my modded Game Boy. Therefore if your nostalgia leads you down the Nintendo DS library rather than the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color library, then I would have to recommend the DS and have it take the spot of the Game Boy Advance SP. Honestly, I feel that unless you have some real nostalgia for the 16-bit systems, I wouldn't recommend picking them up early in your retro game collecting journey, as nowadays picking up these consoles can be very expensive as well as their expensive libraries. You could look into clone consoles that can run multiple systems, 
I personally own and use regularly a super retro trio that I picked up from Amazon. I am really satisfied with performance and it means that I can play Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, NES and even Game Boy with the Super Game Boy cartridge. Similar to the Raspberry Pi, it outputs in HDMI, making it easy to capture gameplay footage and run on modern TVs. My personal opinion is that the N64, the Saturn, the Dreamcast and the PSP are harder cells to pick up early on, unless your specific nostalgia for these consoles demands them. With that said, I find the Sony PSP a fantastic little console to collect for. The games and console are so darn cheap. I hope you found this video fun and informative, and I hope that it inspires you to join me on this epic journey of video gaming history. Until next month, much love, please look after yourselves and each other and get your geek on with Jig Retro.